Hi, good evening, everyone. Low connection. Oh, boy. Um, so tonight we are going to be doing a training. So this is not a selling live. This is a training live. You are welcome to stay and watch the training. You're welcome to share it with your team. Uh, you're welcome to invite your team. It looks like my mouth is not, um, my mouth is not in co, it's not coinciding with my, my voice. So sound looks like the connection is going to be a little bit bad. So hopefully it's not too bad. But I'm gonna go ahead and bling myself out really quick to my um, to my VIP group. Hey Betty, hey Sarah. So tonight is a training live. Um, so it's not a selling live. You're welcome to stay and watch. Whoever would like to stay and watch, you can invite your team. You can um, you know whatever you want to do. But this is going to be a training. Now if I can figure out my how my page is not going. Oh boy. Oh boy. What is going on here? Nope, not working. Okay, so I haven't been on in a while, so hopefully I can figure this out, right? How are you guys doing? How are you? How are you? So tonight we are going to, uh, we're going to talk about, we're going to talk about sticking with, hi Chris, we're going to talk about, talk, talk about, talk about sticking with the the um hi emily um we're going to talk about sticking with um hi darla uh so this is a training night so we're not doing any selling tonight this is hey carol so you can invite your teams you can share with your teams um if you would like to share you know out it doesn't have to have to do with i can't even talk it doesn't have to do with paparazzi necessarily. It can work for any business. So we're just gonna try to stay with the basics here. And um, and hopefully that I, I can help someone uh, with their business. Hopefully, hello, hello. Hopefully, um, I'm gonna share this into our message. Our message. So hopefully it, it so hopefully it's easy for me to say. So hopefully, hopefully I can uh, hopefully I can help someone along the way. So it doesn't have to be with paparazzi, like I said. You can be with any kind of business, any kind of anything that you're doing. Um, just kind of try to stay with the basics. Um, a lot of times we try to make things a little bit harder than they are actually. So, um, so hopefully. Hopefully, hopefully we can um, we can open that up to where um, to where it will work for your business as well as as well as mine. It can be a, a brick and mortar business too. Um, so let me try to find another, one more group and and then nope, it's not gonna work. It's not gonna work. I know this is the most awkward part of. Of uh, videos. Okay, so I think I got it shared out. So this is the most awkward part. Thank you, Denise. Hey, Jamie. So this is the most awkward part, really. I sent it to the group, Jamie. Thank you. Hi, Catherine. So tonight we're we're going to be talking about um, staying with the basics and um, and it's going to be a, a business a business training. So whatever business you're in, whether it's a, a business at um, at a store or or you know if you have your own business at home, it, it doesn't have to be in paparazzi. It could be in whatever you're in, whatever niche they call it, whatever you're in. So this can work for anything. So. I just wanted to let everyone know that this is not a selling live. This is a training. So this is part one. Um, it's probably going to be a two or three part series because um, there's a lot to cover. And hey, Catherine, and people are going to have a lot of questions. So please, if you have questions, post them as we're going along. And then um, I will do my best to answer them. And if it if it if if the question goes along with something I'm going to cover on a different day, then I will let you know that, too. So, um, so first of all, my name is Tina. This is Tina's Treasure Trove, and um, I am a consultant with Paparazzi Jewelry. Uh, my my ID is two nine three one nine zero, and um, 
<clears throat> and so what we're going to go through right now, we're going to go through um, the first question I have written down is for June. So if for most of us, and if you're not in paparazzi, you can grab any calendar, a piece of paper, a, um, a, a notebook, uh, whatever you want to do. So I'm going I, I prefer to do weekly, um, things. I, I write down things weekly. So, uh, for June, I wanted to ask the question, um, where do you want to see yourself by the end of June? So, um, and how are you going to get there? <clears throat> so for June, I'm going to show you my calendar. So for June, um, my husband is going to have surgery on, um, on June 10th. So I put that down in my calendar, right? <clears throat> um, today, so I'm going to flip my camera actually so you can see it's not backwards. So you're not looking at my backwards writing. So let me see if I can do this while I'm on. It's not gonna let me do it while I'm on. Oh, there you go, okay. So this is gonna be a little awkward for me. So so for June, okay, so this is just kind of the stuff that, that you write down, okay. So, oops. So on the 8th, I have a dentist appointment, right? On the 10th is Nat's surgery. And then um, today, pre-op, he had to have a COVID test. So we had to do that at 1.30 today. So if I was planning lives or if I was planning um, different things for my, for my week, um, so today's the fifth, all we had to do today was the testing. However, I did do some, um, some jewelry sorting because I got some jewelry in the, in the mail, you know, see, uh, FedEx. So I've got some of that. So I sorted jewelry today. So if you have, um, so if you have something written down on your calendar, like, like today's shopping day or um, or you have a doctor appointment or, you know, you have to have your nails done, you have to have your hair done or, you know, stuff like that. So we work around, uh, work around what you already are doing. So you don't want to in interrupt your life per se, right? So, um, so write down everything on your calendar for the week or the month, whichever works for you. Um, for me, it's the week because it changes, you know, changes all the time. Like today when they called for Nat's test, it was like they called us 30, 45 minutes before we were supposed to be there. So uh, if I had things planned, then that wouldn't have worked, right? So lately I've been keeping my calendar open other than filling orders and shipping and invoicing and stuff like that. So, um, so, so my first question, like I said, is, is for June, where do you want to be by the end of the month? Can anybody answer that? Can anybody give me an answer to that? Where do you want where do you see yourself at the end of the month? What is your goal for the for the month of June? If anybody's willing to to answer that. <clears throat> so for my um yeah, see, well, I'm not Amy. I'm trying to see we're trying. I'm trying to do different things, too um, So Denise wants to be platinum And see we're gonna talk about life of the party and we're gonna talk about different rankings on a different on a different um, training So that one will probably be the next training But I'm gonna write that down because that's that's another thing that I have written down on my um, on my piece of paper and then um, or see like organized, Amy, I'm not really that organized, honestly. So, so this is working for me. This training is speaking to me too because I need to be more organized. Hitting life of the party before June. Um, by the end of the month, Ruthie, or by, I'm talking for, for the whole, for the, well, for, the, for June, yes, but I'm not sure how far you're, how, how far you are to get there. Um, but you would have to break it down by day, right? So I'm not sure what your PV needs to be, but you divide. So I'm just going to do that really quick. So if you divide whatever your PV that you need to get to bronze by the end of the month, then you take that PV, say it's 400 PV, you divide it by two, and then um, that's how many pieces you need to order. And then you can divide that again by the how many days are left in the month, ordering days. And then that shows you how many pieces you have to buy um, in order to get there. So, um, 
<clears throat> to get caught up with inventory and establish a better schedule. That's good. So, so uh, Chris, I know that you are a, a write down person. That's how I am too. So, um, so most people are talking about LOP stuff. So this is, um, so for those of you who are not, uh, paparazzi consultants, um, LOP means life of the party. And, um, life of the party gives you different, different, uh, different, how do you call it? Different. Oh my gosh, I can't think. So you earn different, um, different privileges with the life of the party. So you start, you start, you got 206 to go. So you divide that by two. I think we did that the other day, right? So, um, so for you guys, that would be about nine pieces a day until the end of the month. So you can totally do that girl. Um, so for other people, you can do the same thing. So ranks, Denise <clears throat> ranking. And I've got that written down too. So what I've got written down, I'm going to tell you guys what I got written down. So this is what we're going to talk about, the perks. So we can get in on that too. Um, the perks we probably won't get in on today because, you know, that's a big, long, um, that's a big, long thing to uh, talk about on here where people, plus, plus when people don't know what we're talking about, right? So the perks, if you, if you go into your back office and you hit life of the party, it will show you each life of the party rank and then what the perks are. So I was thinking, um, I was thinking privileges. Perks is a better word probably. Okay, so this is what I've got written down for, for tonight. <clears throat> so for June, okay, so where do you want to be by the end of the month, right? Yes, you get more perks. <laughs> me and my brain, I mean, words escape me. Um, so if you have a team right now, if you have a team or if you know someone who would like to listen to this, um, maybe they're not on our team, maybe they don't have the, the, um, the camaraderie or the help that our team gives. So if you would like to invite them to watch, that's, that's perfectly okay with me. That's why it's on my business page so that you can share with other people. Um, and then I can share, we can share it into, um, into, uh, our, our, groups or, or whatever we want to share that into. And then, um, for, and then I put growing your team and then how to do that. <clears throat> Number three, I put life of the party goals for next year. And then, um, how much money would you like to make? And then on top of, uh, there's another thing that's kind of fitting into where we're at is discipline, self-discipline, and it helps, it helps to write it down. So, so for me, <clears throat> For me, um, I was just going day by day, and um, that's not that's not that's not really uh, it's not really feasible because if you go day by day, then um, then you know it doesn't uh, to me a week is better. So if you write down your schedule for the week, say you say you work an outside job, um, you write down your days that you work and the hours that you work. And then, um, and then you plan your paparazzi business around that or your other business, whatever, whatever business you're in, cause this doesn't have to be paparazzi, right? Um, so whatever business you're in, <clears throat> excuse me. So you want to write down your schedule, your regular life schedule for the week. And then, um, and then on top of that, then you can, um, you can add in hours, uh, minutes, you can add in a live you know, because a lot of people say, well, I don't have a, a time to do a live this week. So if you look at your schedule, if you look at the week that you planned out, then um, then so I'm sure somewhere in there you can find at least a half an hour or an hour to do a quick live. So uh, <clears throat> and, and speed lives work really well for that. So there's that. Um, and then <clears throat> let's see. Any more questions on that part? So if you want, if you want to be, okay, so where do you want to be at the end of the month? So if you want to be, if you want to be a director, which means you have two people, three people under you. Um, so what are you going to do to, uh, to get there? So as you're writing out your schedule and then you're writing out your paparazzi schedule, so then you can, uh, you can add an hour in there a week or longer if you want to contact people that, that like, 
like for us and paparazzi so so what i like to do is if someone's spending with me a hundred dollars a week or more because there's a lot of people who will spend two or three hundred dollars a month right on jewelry so so for those people hi chachi for those people i like to contact them and just tell them you know it it really would be beneficial to you if you would um, if you would just join and you can buy your stuff at a discount, right? Um, and then on top of that, people see your jewelry could because even though it, even if you're just a customer and you're and you're watching, I mean, you're just a cut just a customer. <laughs> oh my gosh! If you are a customer and you're buying this minute this much stuff, um, so. The best thing to me is to tell you that, um, you know, even if you can only afford the $99 kit, because I can tell you straight up, my daughter, she just got the $99 kit. And then from then on, she started like building her inventory right away. So um, she's already passed me in sales. So, um, so it can be done. I started with the large kit and I have a large inventory. So, um, so I can tell you that, you know, she, she buys her own jewelry. She does her own thing. She's got her own contacts. Um, so she, she honestly, and this is honest to God truth. She sells more jewelry than I do. And she's only been in a month and a half, maybe close to two months. So, um, it can be done with the $99 kit. You just have to be, you just have to be, um, you have to step out in faith Yeah, so write all of that down first, and then, um, you know, whichever one you want to work the most, the, um, whichever, you know, you know what I mean? So if you want to give them equal, equal time, then uh, write down your life schedule, right? Your store, all that stuff, and your house cleaning, if, if, you know, whatever it is, if it takes you three hours a week to, to clean the house or, or whatever, your laundry, write all that stuff down, because it, it all takes time, right? And, um, and like during your laundry time, excuse me, during your laundry time, um, you can, you can post on, um, your wall. I don't know. We get the hiccups. You can, when I get nervous, I get the hiccups. You guys, you know, you guys know me by now. Um, so if you're, if you're, if you're doing your laundry, you can take out your phone while your clothes are drying or washing. Um, you can take out your phone. You can do a wall drop. Um, you can, you can, you know, message someone, you can talk to them. Um, but what I was saying is if someone is spending, I mean, it's great to have sales, right? But if, and you don't want to lose a customer. However, if someone is spending a hundred dollars or more with you a month, it is better for them to join and then buy this stuff at a discount. And then not only does that grow their business and then it grows their PV so that they can, they can start, um, making points up to LOP, right? Then, um, then you also, you also are building your team. So when you start building your team, you start making a commission. Sure. We can, we can, uh, we can totally survive off sales. Don't get me wrong. If you, um, have no plans on, you know, building a team, I didn't. I had no plans on building a team at all. I wasn't interested in that. Um, I figured I didn't have anything to offer anyone. I didn't have any um, knowledge. I didn't know how to teach or lead. So, um, so it took me six or seven months before I signed up my first, uh, my first person, my first consultant. Uh, and then after that, <clears throat> then I set Ruthie was my second consultant. And so then I started thinking, okay, hey, this is not so hard, right? And then, plus you get 10% off of whatever whatever they are um, purchasing, right? So then you start earning a commission check. So there's your residual income. <clears throat> so when you start building a team, hi Sharifa. So when you, sh when you start building a team, then you start getting the residual income coming in from the commission. So it's okay, Sharifa. I just started. Uh, we're not really, I haven't really gotten deep into it, but... Um, um, I'm trying not to get off track, but, um, but, but, uh, so for a disclaimer, I guess we're, we're not supposed to talk about how much money we make, but I've heard a lot of people say it, even, even our uplines. So, um, <laughs> I didn't, and you know what, you, you probably didn't see me as a, as much of a hot mess as I am really either. Did you, <laughs> um, but we learn together and not only do we have, um, not only was I scared to grow a team, 
but I was afraid, just like I said, that I didn't have enough information to share with people. So that's why we have a team and we have each other. And even new people um, can can teach the older people, you, you know, the, the more seasoned people that have been here for a while, right? Um, hi, Debbie. So just to let you, you guys know again, this is not a selling live. This is a training. Um, so you're welcome to you're welcome to hang out and watch. Um, if you know someone that might be interested in this, you can share. If you can invite them to watch, if you would like. Um, so, so anyway, so yeah, I wasn't I wasn't interested in, in in building a team at all. But then I started saying, you know what, I'm, uh, what's what's doing? I don't what I, I'm doing a, a a training live is what I'm doing. So, um, so yeah, I wasn't interested in building a team. I didn't know, I didn't know how to, how to, I didn't know how to teach them. But, um, as I started getting into, um, getting into it and then our team, our, our big team, you know, team diamond dolls. Uh, so we would go in there and we were challenged even as new people to go in and, um, hot mess Mavics for sure. So we were challenged to go in and and teach somebody something. So even if even if you're brand new, you have something to teach someone because everyone has life um, different life experiences, right? And different experiences in working, um, whether it's working in a, a store, working in a corporate world, working wherever you were working before you started uh, working from home. Or some of you are still working on an outside job and then and then doing paparazzi or your other business, you know, on the side. So um, so really, don't be afraid to build a team because we're all here for you, and uh, most of you here that are on our team know that. So um, you know, if anybody has any questions, we're right there to answer it. Um, if you if you just sign someone up and you really don't know the question, the answer to the question that they're asking you then you call us up or, you know, this is the way our team works. And, um, and it's awesome because we can go into our team and, and our team is actually B's the, the direct, B's my direct upline and Marissa is her direct upline. So, um, so we, we do challenge each other to each other to go into our group team, our team groups and um, do a live video just showing something that you learned, even if it's um, even if it's just something on Facebook, um, and uh, something how to post something or how to change a graphic or to make a graphic or um, you know something, just anything. And and believe it, believe it or not, I have learned a lot from people just just by them coming in and and doing these little trainings. So, um, so, so please don't be afraid to, to, to go live and just to, to, to share what you have learned or what works for you. Um, I've gone on and I've shared how I, how I ship. I've shared how I pack that stuff up. I, sh I've shared how I, um, store my jewelry, um, how I set up for my lives, stuff like that. And it has, it has evolved since, since the beginning, since I first started, it has evolved and now, now it's different because, you know, I've got more inventory now. So it's a little bit harder for me to set up a live on a board. Um, so <clears throat> I still use my boards, but, but not for my lives. Uh, so we use them for, uh, speed lives. Jamie will do her speed lives here too. She'll bring her stuff up and she'll set her, her live up on the board. I'm going to show you, she's got one set up over there right now. I'm going to show you. Um, I'm going to show you what she, what she did. And then, um, I'm going to flip the camera real quick to excuse the mess. But this is the, um, this is my, my board, oops, my camera's backwards. So this is my board on the other side. So this is going to be her next speed life. And those two bins right there. Oh my gosh. How, how embarrassing. So these two bins right there is what's on the board. So, um, so that's how, that's how we do it here. That's how I showed her her to do it. So if you are gonna do a speed live, you you're gonna wanna <clears throat> you're gonna wanna um, and here I'm getting off topic even though I've gotten stuff written down. So should, so everything that's on the board is in those bins. So that way it's easier for her to find when she uh, when she people are shopping the replay right. And then after a week or so, then you can put it away um, because by then you know then they can take a screenshot or whatever and send you a picture and you can find it once it's put away. 
I mean, you can find it now easier, but anyway, so, um, so if, so if your goal is to, um, if your goal is to be, to reach director at the end of the month, how are you planning to do that? So, um, so when I did that, when I wrote down my goals and my camera's still a little bit crooked, sorry about that, you guys. Uh, when I wrote down my goals in the beginning, see, I was challenged to do a, um, a dream board. I had never done a dream board before. I was totally against it. I was like, this is dumb. You know, I'm not going to write down some crazy stuff that I'm not going to be able to achieve. I don't want to, I don't want to let myself down. I don't want to be seen as a failure. Um, but the bigger picture is you can write down goals. You, you can write down achievable goals, but you want to write down goals that are just a little bit out of reach so that it makes you push yourself harder. Um, on my dream board last year, well, the beginning of the, well, it was, pro it was probably, I would say six or seven months ago, um, I wanted to be director and that was my goal for, for the year, actually. For the next, it was for the next six months to the end of uh, December. So, um, and I, and I surpassed that. So, you know, I, I didn't know if I really wanted to be director, but that's what I put on my board because, you know, I didn't think it was, I actually didn't think it was achievable actually. But then once, once I started coming on and talking about myself, talking about the business, talking about, you know, what I've done, talking about, you know, how I got there, then people started realizing, you know, this isn't really that hard. Um, the jewelry sells itself. So uh, when you start talking about, um, when you start talking about yourself, make yourself vulnerable. It's hard. Believe me, it's hard. So you've got to make yourself a little bit vulnerable. You've got to talk about yourself. You've got to talk about some of the weaknesses you have, some of the strengths that you have. Um, and then people, people will be drawn to you, you know, just like people were drawn to me. So um, I was found by a couple of people by just uh, them searching in uh, Facebook for paparazzi live jewelry shows. And that's where um, Denise found me there. And so did Ruthie. So, and both of them signed up with me and it was just because they connected with me in some way, right? Um, so, so if you decide that you want to, um, if you want to join, if you're not a consultant already, you decide you want to join. Like I said, I always ask people that are spending a hundred dollars or more a week, I mean a month, that it would be better for them to, um, to, to just get the kit, just get the kit and, and buy stuff at a discount. And then once you start to, um, once you're put into the groups, the chat groups, because we have groups, you know, our, our own team groups, we have our own team chats, stuff like that. Then you start learning stuff and then people say, hey, you know what? I really want to make this a go. I really do. So, um, because they see how easy it is, right? <clears throat> Thank you, Ruthie. Unlike today, right? <laughs> Thank you, though. I, I really appreciate that. Um, so, so sometimes, you know, we do, and plus when you're on here, just be yourself, right? Um, just be yourself because people are going to be drawn to you and, uh, create relationships with people, talk to people, you know, when you're on, when you're like, when I said, like I said earlier, if you're doing your, uh, your laundry, if that's part of your week, um, at that time, if you're doing your laundry, you know, go on some of the people on your friend list, go on their, um, go on their post and my hair is wacky. I was outside. It's all windy. So if you if you go on their post, you know, comment on their post, you know, uh, talk to them, message people that you don't normally message and start creating a um, start creating an, a, or establishing a relationship with people. Um, hi, how was your day? I seen that you had the kids at the park today. It was a really beautiful day. It was great seeing you out and having fun amongst all this chaos, right? It was really uplifting to me, and I really thank you a lot for that. So people appreciate that, and, and believe it or not, um, and then you just tell them, have a great day. I was just thinking about you or whatever, um, and, and be genuine about it because that is that is a genuine, you know, that is a genuine message. Um, and so so we got that part so how are how are you going to get there so so talking to people is one thing yep see you form bonds with people um you know because i've traveled all the way around the world uh, world the u.s and i've lived in louisiana so we talked about all kinds of stuff and 
come to find out, you know, the people that you really connect with, you really have um, more in common than you think. You know, like I came from, um, you know, I don't know if I've, I, I've never actually told my story here on, on in front of everybody, but I actually came from a very, very poor family. Um, we got our food uh, with food stamps. Uh, my mom was a single mom. Uh, we were on section eight. My mom was a single mom of four kids. Um, so, um, so, you know, all of us come from different backgrounds and, um, and no matter what we've been through in life, you know, I grew up in Santa Maria, uh, right in the middle of the eighties where, uh, gang, gang stuff was pretty, uh, active at the time. So I was in the middle, you know, right in that neighborhood, I was in the middle of all that. And, um, and so a lot of you might not be able to relate to me in that way, but from everything I've gone through in my whole life, you know, it made me who I am today. I'm, I'm strong. Um, I'm independent. Um, I am a free thinker. Um, you know, I kind of speak my mind and most of you know that. Um, so anyway, you know, that has nothing to do with what we're talking about, but, um, so how, so if you're going to grow your team, how are you going to get there? So think about that. And then, you know, we can get into this more too. So if you guys have questions, go ahead and put them down and we can answer them. If, if it's something that's going to be in, that's going to be covered in a different training, go ahead and, um, go ahead and put it anyway. And I will put everything down and we will, uh, we will address it. Um, but if you look in your, for like life of the party, if you look in your back office, and for those of you who are not uh, paparazzi consultants, um, if you decide to become one, our team is awesome, um, and we will we will train you, we will help you, we will hold your hand, and we will guide you to where you need to go, help you get there, uh, help you make a roadmap to get there. That's what I'm trying to do here today. So, um, <clears throat> so if you hit that life of the party in your back office, hit the life of the party button. It will show you all the life of the party. Um, uh, all the life of the party, uh, <laughs> dang it, all the life of the party, like different ranks, the life of the party ranks. Hi, Michelle. So if you click on that, you'll see all the life of the party ranks and then what it's going to take for you to get there, how much PV you need, your, you know, how much jewelry you need to buy to get to, to that rank. And so when I say that, you don't want to just, uh, you don't want to just buy yourself a rank, right? You don't want to just keep on buying until you get that rank, just to have that rank, right? You want to be selling the jewelry too. So, um, so in that week, in that week that I was talking about, when you put that on your calendar, save aside a time for a, a live, a consistent live, at least once, uh, at least once a week. Hey, girl. Um, so right now we're ha me for me I haven't been live in probably uh, over a month right except for my fashion fix live. So um, my husband has his surgery date on the tenth. So um, so I've been taking a care of him, taking care of the the yard, the house, you know, all of that stuff. We have a rental property next door, so he's not able to get out there, and uh, he does get out there and, and works, but. Um, he can't do it for very long and um, so he's got two hernias if you guys don't know that he's got two hernias one on each side they're inguinal hernias um, which are in the crease of your um, of your groin like where your panty line would be um, so he's got one on each side and what that means is you've got these tubes right there for men they have these tubes right there and well women have them too but um, for them, that's where their spermatic, uh, spermatic, I'm, I'm not going to get all medical, but their spermatic tubes are there. And so when you get older, the abdominal wall, what happens is it gets weaker. And uh, your intestines, some your intestines will start to, uh, if it's weak, it will poke through that, um, that weakness in that, in that tubing there. So that's what's happened to him. So he's got one on both sides. So, uh, luckily, you know, we, we got our, we, we had to keep on calling, keep on calling, but we finally got a surgery date for the 10th. And, um, the scary part for men is, uh, is for that intestine 
to keep pushing down and then it can actually, that hernia can actually go down into their scrotum. So then it becomes a whole, a whole nother issue, right? So that's what we are trying to avoid by keeping him still, keeping him, you know, and don't work too hard because you're gonna start, you know, getting stuff pushing and, and we don't want that, right? So I'm trying to keep him still, which is very hard because my husband's a worker. He's an old school worker. <laughs> he'll be okay. Yeah, he'll be okay once he's he's ready for this to happen so he can get back to doing what he loves to do, which is working outside every day. You know, the uh, most of you have seen my uh, my video when I went around the whole uh, the whole property. Uh, right now, it's it's pretty. Uh, we've got it into shape. We trim the trees and stuff over the weekend. So that's why I haven't been live. I'm trying to do the stuff that he normally does so that he doesn't do it. And then, um, and I'm still, you know, sorting my jewelry. I still order jewelry every day. So, so don't think that I'm, you know, out, you know, doing nothing with my business because I'm not. I mean, because I am. I'm, I'm working my business still. Um, not as much, not as much as I should. But I've been doing, you know, wall drops. I've been doing all that. I'm still making pretty good sales. Um, so, <clears throat> so anyway, as soon as that. As soon as we get him fixed, um, I'll be able to go live a lot more and get back on track with that. But that's the beauty about working from home is because uh, because if something ever comes up, and um, that's another thing about building a team, right? Because I'm getting commission checks every month. Um, right now, I've built myself up to executive producer. So, um, and like I said earlier, I don't think we're supposed to say like how much we're making or anything but um you know it, it, I don't know turn me in if you want to but right now with my commission and no sales I'm I'm bringing in um 1500 a month just from my commission so if uh and it's different for everybody so so you know don't don't take that as gospel because for everyone it's different it just depends on your team how much your team is uh, purchasing and selling and how how active they are so um, so that's the that's that's a good, a good bleh. that's another good thing about building a team right so um, so if something ever happens and and you you can't work your business as much as you were before you can still have that that residual income so um, if you've been scared about building a team don't be scared because we're all here for you um, so, so life of the party goals. Now this is going to be, um, so I talked about growing your team. I talked about, you know, where we wanted to be next year at this time. Um, and we can, you can message me or we can post in the chat. If you're not on my team, you can message me and I can, I will totally help you map that out to get there. Um, so now we're going to talk about life of the party goals from, from the end of, um, what is it? June, June, is it July 3rd, June 31st? No, it's July 1st to June 30th, right? So, so we've already, we're, you know, we're already into June. So at the end of this month is going to be the end of the paparazzi year, right? So then we're going to start into um, the next paparazzi year. So start thinking about what life of the party, I mean, the, the, the best place to be in life of the party is gold because you get, you get double hostess rewards. And so, um, so if you hit gold this last year, um, after, um, after convention is over, which, you know, it was canceled. So at the end of July, so at the end of July, um, is when all of those recognitions will come out and, um, and, you know, those people who, um, who earned, you know, different things. So, um, so they'll announce all of that. I don't know how they, I've never been to a convention for paparazzi. So I really, this time since it's canceled, I don't know how they're going to do all of that, maybe by mail or maybe by a, an email I'm not sure but um, so if you've reached life of the party bronze and up if you have reached any of those then you will reap the benefits of that starting in September then you'll be able to um, to have access to order life of the party pieces so with that being said um, with that being said Sorry, I had to block them. <clears throat> so with that being said, um, so think of what life of the party goal, <laughs> got him, Ruthie. 
So think of what life of the party goal that you would like to hit um, from starting July 1st up until, you know, for the full year. So uh, gold is actually the one where you want to try to reach that to reach that one. And that uh, that one is, uh, I believe, 35,000 PV for gold. Somebody correct me if I'm wrong. Um, I think it's 35,000. So so to me, if you want if you if you want to reach gold, then either um, you start building a team. So you start getting that PV under you or you take that 35,000 PV, you divide it by two, and then you divide it by how many ordering days there are in the month, you know, minus the the uh, holidays and stuff that it won't be open. Is it 15,000? Okay, awesome. So I'm thinking something else. Um, oh, I'm thinking diamond. Okay, so gold is 15,000. So you're going to have to have uh, half of 15,000 is 7,500, right? So you have to order 7,500 pieces of jewelry for the whole year. Um, so, so if you if you break that down into um, you know five days a week, then you can figure out how many you need to um, to purchase every day in order to hit that goal. So, um, so for me, I would say, in my opinion, I would have you um, step out on a limb. Um, step out on a limb and in faith and order just a little bit more than what you normally would order and then um, and then that would push you to sell more that's what it did for me so I was ordering more than I was selling when I first started when I my first month that I was in paparazzi I hit bronze in my first month so um, so that pushed me uh, that pushed me to sell more because I had to pay for those credit card bills right and uh, and so that's what, you know, that that worked for me. Um, it may not work for you. You may have to um, just, you know, use the money that you sell your jewelry to buy more jewelry. So um, a lot of people have that going on. So, um, so, so for that, I would say try, just try. Try to order a couple more pieces than you normally would. Even pieces that you think are ugly, right? Because ugly sells. Ugly is someone else is beautiful. Um, I found that out. So, um, so even though you might go a little bit into the hole, it's going to push you a little bit harder to sell more. So, um, so, so anyway, that's, that's my, that would be my, uh, my advice on that one. Um, if you can't do that, then, then just try to sell more of what you have so you can order more. Um, um, cause I'm not one of those, you know, go buy, 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 because that's not what it's all about. You need to be sell, sell, sell too. So, um, so, okay, there goes that, that, that's the life of the party stuff. So, and then we can get more into that and we can break that down a little bit better on a different, on a different live. Um, because like I said, this is going to be like a two part, one part, I mean, a two to three part series because, you know, there's a lot to cover. So, um, how much money would you like to make? So that, that's another, um, that's another question you want to ask yourself. Do you, would you like to just make an extra hundred bucks a month? Um, and this is another another thing that I like to to talk about with people who are thinking about joining. So, like I said earlier, if you have people that are you know spending a hundred dollars a month or more, then offer them the opportunity to to join your team and get get everything at a discount so they're not paying full price, right? Um, and then they can start building from there uh, or deciding from there. Um, so that kit's only $99. You get 35 pieces, you know, times five. So they may, they're making their money back and then they get the website and they get the, they get to buy the jewelry at 275, right? And also, if you guys didn't know, for those of you who are consultants, if you have someone register on your website, so they go to your website, they register as a customer and, um, and they see, they get to see everything that you see. So even if they're not registered, anybody can go on our website at new release time and they can see what we can see anyway. They can watch everything move around. They can get the new stuff just like we can. Um, so, you know, like when people get upset because things sell out or they didn't get what they, what they wanted, it's not only consultants buying. So it's also customers. So if you guys didn't know that, that's another, that's another thing to think about too because customers can, can shop the new releases just like we can. 
Um, so that's uh, that's something to think about. But if you have somebody, you know, go and register on your website, especially if you, um, because we're a pink diamond and a black diamond team, right? Those, um, the Z collection, how to sign. Um, I don't understand, Sharifa. Do you mean when are they going to come? So Z collections, if <clears throat> you have to earn those, Z collections are earned. Um, so if you, <clears throat> like Marissa has a Z collection named after her, um, you know, and then all the winners this year, they have a Z collection named after them. So there's 20 there's 20 Z pieces that are released every year, and those will be released after convention. And so you have uh, 10 pieces that are named after a consultant because they earned it. And then you have the 10 that is this, the, uh, it's not the, sig the signature uh, series of the, of the Z collection are named after uh, people who earned them. And the other, the other 10 Z that are named like uh, mesmerize, like we have one called mesmerize. We have one called uh, uh, what are they called? Jeez, uh, I can't even think. Phenomenon was an older one. Um, stuff like that that are not named after people. Those are still a Z collection, but they're not named after someone. Is that what you mean? So, uh, <clears throat> I think that's what you're talking about. So uh, now I forgot where I, was, where I was going. Hmm. I always get lost. What was I saying, you guys? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> my mind just totally went blank. Hmm. So if you have someone, if you have someone come and register on your uh, website and you are you are uh, you you're enrolled in Fashion Fix, um, so they will give they will have access to the Fashion Fix that is left over, and also it, because we're on a pink diamond team and a black diamond team, uh, Marissa, our team, not 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 Marissa herself, but at Marissa's team, because um, those kind of uh, those kind of uh, no, that's an LLP. So, so I mean, she could have, she could have bought that herself. She could have bought that much jewelry. It's a seventy-five thousand, uh, seventy-five thousand PV for black diamond. Only you know she sells like a beast. So she didn't buy. She didn't buy her um, LLP rank. So, um, so anyway, so people who are registered on your website, when when we get that email saying okay you've got 24 hours to um and then your piece is going to be released right just like it did this last time so if you have your customers uh registered on your website they will have access to that too so that Ella, that pink diamond tab will show up for them as well and that uh, fashion fix is the same way so, um, so that's something to think about is, um, if you're not on fashion fix, then you should sign up for fashion fix because that's a business builder. And also your, your, your customers will be able to have access to them too. So there's that. And then, um, and then, so, so now this is what I ask people to, when they, when they first sign up, like, where do you want this to take you? Do you want this to be a full-time job? Do you want it to replace, um, hi Marge, do you want it to replace, this is a, this is a, a training video. I mean, you're welcome to hang out and listen to it because it re applies to anybody and everybody, but um, I do talk a lot about the paparazzi because that's, that's what I'm doing. But, but um, so what, what I like to ask people is, what do you want this business to do for you? Um, do you want to earn an extra $100 uh, a month or do you just want, you know, do you want the extra money for some tires for your truck? Do you want, you know, do you just want to put your kids through, um, through preschool or, you know, whatever the case may be, however much that, that money is that you want to make extra, we can sit and figure that out too. So, um, so if you're, if you're on our team, you can put that in the chat or you can put it here and I'll write it down and then we can private message each other. 
Um, you, or you can private message me and say, look, this is how much I want to make in a month. How can I get there? You know, and I'll help you figure that out. Um, I will help you and I will, I will tell you how much you need to sell in order to make that profit. Um, so, so there's that. And then discipline. So discipline. So when you have your own business, it's not like, it's not like you're clocking in and you're clocking out. You know, even though you're working from home and you have your own hours, that's why I recommend that you write things down that you like your laundry, your shopping, all that stuff, write all that stuff down. And then the hours that are left over, you can work on your business. Of course, you have to sleep and, you know, stuff like that. But, but you know, a couple hours a day or whatever you have, even if it's a couple hours a week, um, is, uh, to, but be disciplined to that. Be, um, be consistent with that. And, and at least have one live a week, a consistent live to where everyone can come and, they know what time you're coming live. They know what time you're going to be there. They look forward to it. Actually, people look forward to seeing you every week. You know, since I haven't been live, people have been messaging me saying, man, I miss you. When are you coming back? You know, um, because we have conversations. We're just like family, right? We we talk like we, we are family. We we are concerned about each other. We pray with each other. You know, it's it's it's, it's like having a family. So, and our team is very much like that. We pray for each other. We talk to each other. Someone's having a down day. We we help pick them back up. Um, you know, I'm one of those people. I raise my kids this way too. Dust off your boots. Get your back up. Get your butt back up, and um, and 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 keep going. You know, don't let it get you down. Yes, exactly, exactly. People will. They will ask if you're not on when you're supposed to be on. Are you okay? When are you coming back on? You know. Um, but you know when you got stuff going on and that's another good thing about working from home um is you do you you do have the the ability to still sell stuff on 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 your uh, vip group or on your page or you know uh, messaging people hey this just dropped i, I know you were with, interested in this um you know something in this sort of way it's, something similar to this so um i just wanted to let you know this dropped today if you're interested or you know, whatever, how, whatever works for you. You know, I'm not, I'm not one to message people that way, but, but it works for a lot of people. So, um, I usually post everything in my VIP group for them to pre-order there. But, but now since I'm not live as much, I've been posting a little bit more on my, on my business page. So, and I've get, I'm getting more sales, um, that way too. So it's cross posted, it's but posted in both places. So, um, so you just have to keep track. So I wanted to show you something else too. So that, so discipline, um, so I'm going to finish up with the discipline. So, um, so like I said, if you have your, your, your week mapped out for you and, um, you know, as much as we want to just park our butt on the chair and watch TV or, or, you know, do nothing for the day we have, we can have days like that. That's okay. But just don't make it every day like that, you know, because they're, you could be working your business and building your business and building your clientele and your following because you're, you, we like, you know, we tell each other, we attract our tribe, right? So, um, and then, and then sooner or later, someone will, I'm ready. I'm ready to, to, you know, sometimes it takes a little while, but they'll message you and say, you know what? I've been watching you for a while. I've been a customer for a while. I'm ready. I'm ready. Let's get, let's get this going. Um, and it does, it does happen. But you need to have that discipline. So uh, we don't clock in, we don't clock out, right? So we have to stick to um, stick to what we to what we can. Uh, how you say it? So you stick to what you're going to do that week for your for your business and uh, write it down. Stick to it um, and pretend like you're clocking in if you have to. I don't I don't know how um, how to how to get you to. To, to discipline, discipline's hard when you're working from home. Yes, there there's a lot of money to be made here, Sharifa. There is a lot of money to be made here. Um, it's a lot of hard work, but there's a lot of money to be made here, and you can make quite a bit. Um, <clears throat> but, so self-discipline. So even though we want to sit around and just kind of chill all day, you got to have self-discipline. You have to um, you have to say, okay, this is the time I'm going to work on my business. This is the time I'm going to be doing sorting my jewelry 
or this is the time I'm going to be doing my wall drops or filling my orders or doing my invoicing. Um, when I do my invoicing, I ship within 24 hours. So, um, and sometimes I slack back on my invoicing. I, I usually invoice on Wednesdays and Saturdays, but since I haven't been live, I've been, you know, maybe once a week this, you know, so, but people are still messaging me and say, hey, I haven't got my invoice, so I'll invoice those people. Um, but other than that, I've kind of, I've kind of, you know, went down to once a week right now. Um, so, or if somebody, or if people only have one thing in their box, then I'll, then I'll wait until um, the next invoice time to see if they, if they have happen to want to add something to it so they don't have to have to pay shipping for just one item. Um, most people, do, it, most people, it's okay. They don't, they don't mind, but, um, I just want to try to give them that opportunity. Um, so, so self-discipline is a big one. So, um, does anybody have any questions so far? If you have any questions, uh, go ahead and ask them. If something's, uh, something's working on your mind right now. But I wanted to show you also, I have Jamie's book. She left her book here. I'm going to call her out. So when she does her ordering, she has this book, right? I got these at EMP. So um, some people, I had a, I had a ticket for me. I had a ticket for Nat. And then there was a man that was there that gave us his little backpack that we got, which came with a book inside. And it's a, it's a little, it's a notebook. So this is what Jamie does. When she orders stuff, she writes down what she orders because she doesn't go live. She has people message her. I mean, I, like, I don't know how she did it, but I mean, people are messaging her left and right. So when she orders something, she writes down what she ordered. And then, so, so see with like here, she ordered 15, right? And where am I at? 15. She's already got pre-orders. Right? So that's how she keeps up with her stuff. Um, I do it from my VIP group. She doesn't really sell so much from her VIP group. She does it differently, right? So she does most of hers through messages. People message her. Did you get this? Did you get that? So she writes all her stuff down in a book. Um, so there's different ways to keep track, you know, of what you have and how much you've sold. Um, and with the, the shipping has been taking quite a lot longer than normal. So, um, so sometimes people are forgetting by the time their invoice comes, people are forgetting, uh, what they ordered. So, um, <clears throat> I don't know how to fix that. There's nothing really we can do to fix that, but other, you know, just reassure them that it is coming. I just don't have tracking for it yet. Um, a lot of people want their invoices right away. Um, so just to tell you guys that it is once your order is confirmed in the back office, you can, you can invoice. However, you know, a lot of people don't want it because the shipping is slow right now. A lot of people don't want to wait, you know, a week and a half or two weeks. It's been taking for some th some things, um, you know, and, they're, and they paid it two weeks ago and then it's finally getting sent out, you know, two weeks later. So, um, so if, if people do want to want to pay their invoice right away, just, just be sure to let them know that, um, that it, it, the shipping is a little bit slow right now because of everything that's going on and, you know, the people that are in the warehouse are, you know, they're doing their social distancing also so that the, they're kind of like on a skeleton crew somewhat, you know, so, um, shipping is still going out, but it's just taking a little bit longer. So, um, so I wanted to end with that. I wanted to end with the discipline. So think I, cause I think that's the hardest one. So, uh, so, so, so to kind of recap, um, so you want to get, you want to get some kind of calendar, right? Some kind of book. This book actually came with our kit, right? So this is the book that came with our kit. So we have this book and it comes with, um, so you can make your own, whoop, so you can make your own calendar. I wrote this one out. And so this is, um, this is, you know, the, my, Nat's surgery date. And then, um, you know, my dentist appointment, stuff like that. So stuff that I actually know that I have to do. And then I can work around that. You know what I mean? So if I happen to, because the nail salons are going to be opening up pretty soon too. So if there's a day that I have to go get my nails done, I could block off maybe two hours for that. You know, driving time and all that. 
So, um, so I just wanted to end with the, with that. So, so be sure to write down what, what your week is going to be like, and then you can start adding, you know, stuff that you can do in between, even if it's during folding clothes or the clothes are in the dryer or whatever. And then you can start posting on Facebook. And if you didn't know on Facebook, you can actually schedule your posts for the whole week and, um, you don't have to mess with your posts. Um, so uh, people like to see um, a lot, not just all sell, sell, sell here, buy my stuff, you know. So a lot of people like to see a part of you. So when you're when you're out and about, you know, Sharifa does all the time. They go out of town a lot on the weekends and they go to the lake. Uh, she'll go live from the lake and she'll show people, you know, that we're here at the lake. We're having a good old time. It's great working from home because I can work here too if I need to. Um, stuff like that. So people really love to see and get a glimpse, glimpse into your life. So kind of try to get a little bit, um, get a little bit vulnerable and let people, Ruthie does the same thing. You know, she'll post lives from the beach because they just moved to Florida. So, um, so, so don't be afraid to do that. And I know that Marge does too. And, uh, and it, it works because people start to see who you are and people start to kind of make a connection with you. And as long as you're, you know, being genuine and a little bit vulnerable, people, uh, people appreciate that. And then they, they are more drawn to you. So, um, so I'm going to finish with that discipline thing though. And I know I keep saying that, but try to map out your week and, um, try to stick to it. And if you need help with that, um, give me a holler, message me. I will be more than happy to talk to you about it. Um, if you guys are on our team, go ahead and put it in the chat if you need help with something and I can, um, I can try to make it, I can try to explain it a little bit better so that you can understand it a little bit better. I know I kind of was a little vague. Um, this is the first time I've been uh, on a training or doing a training in a little while. So I hope all of this made sense and I hope, I hope this helped you. So if you have any questions at all, please feel free. You can post them on here. Uh, you can watch the replay. You can share this with your team if you would like. Um, I don't have a problem with that. That's why I went on my business page to make it public. So if you wanted to share. Um, but I will do a part two next week. So I'm going to start doing this every week. Okay, we're going to have, we'll talk to each other. And if you have any questions, you, ha you need something that you, um, that you want to learn about, let me know. I will do the research on it and I will do a training on it. Not a problem. Um, so for our team, go ahead and stick it in, into our chat. If, if something wasn't clear to you, uh, go ahead and put it in the chat and then we can, we can go from there. If you need to, you, you're always welcome to call me. Um, I'm always here to talk. You can message me and we can figure, figure out a time to get on the phone. Um, and with that, stay disciplined and try to stick to your, stick to your plan. Okay. So um, I will see you guys next time and I hope you guys have an awesome night and, and as always, sleep well and God bless you. Stay safe out there. Love you guys.